Have you ever felt frustrated because you couldn't reach your favorite cup from the top shelf? Well, that is exactly how our kids feel when they come into the world of adults where everything is not only super exciting and interesting, but is also out of reach. And on top of it, these little humans don't yet have the skills to deal with their frustration. And this is where Montessori comes in, making the world accessible and understandable for our little kids. Hi, my name is Anastasia and I make videos about mindful parenting. Today we're gonna dive into the fascinating world of Montessori education and how it can transform our everyday parenting. When I was a child, my parents emphasized my independence. They didn't micromanage my homework, they taught me how to turn on the stove and heat up my lunch, how to peel potatoes and, and so on. These little life lessons helped me in becoming a self-reliant and independent person, aiding me in getting a master's degree in IT and then moving to a different country and starting my life from scratch in Germany. So naturally, when I became a parent, I wanted to raise my child to be independent as well. This is why Montessori approach instantly resonated with me. But what exactly is Montessori? And more importantly, how can we implement its principles at home to raise more independent, curious and and self-reliant children. Founded by Dr. Maria Montessori in the early 1900s, the Montessori method is an educational approach that focuses on nurturing and encouraging each child's individual desire to learn. When my husband asked me to explain Montessori to him as simply as possible... And please, speak as you might to a young child or a golden retriever. Here's what I said. Imagine our kid is a perfectly capable but tiny human who also has amnesia and now we just have to reteach him how to do everything, how to walk, talk and how to do more complex tasks. And this is what makes Montessori so unique. It respects child's individuality, allowing them to learn at their own pace. This approach helps to foster independence and a love for learning early on. So how does Montessori work? It provides an environment where everything is within reach and learning materials are designed to be self-correcting, encouraging children to learn and improve through their own efforts. This means that instead of expecting our children to adapt to the adult world, we as parents take the responsibility and we respect their size and limitations and we make it our job to adapt the environment to them. This means providing them with a small child-sized table and chair, putting the shelves low so that they can reach their books and toys, making their wardrobe accessible for them, making the place where they can wash their hands accessible to them, and so on. That is what Montessori is about. Another significant aspect of Montessori is teaching kids life skills rather than academical skills. For instance, instead of focusing solely on word cards and memorization, Montessori focuses focuses more on self-directed and hands-on learning. As a Montessori parent, I, for example, teach my kid different skills like how to get dressed, how to clean up after him, how to cook, how to bake, and so on, using his genuine interest to mimic adults as a learning opportunity. And while I seize every opportunity to improve his vocabulary, including teaching him sign language even before he could talk at all, I have an entire video on that, so you can check it out, I still prefer practical over theoretical teaching. Now, a few words about Montessori toys. First of all, they should be well organized, so each toy should have its own place so that you can start teaching your child how to be organized. That also helps children to stay calmer because children like structure, they like schedules and they like order and they like when things go where they belong. My son is so hilarious. Whenever we misplace some items, especially like when my husband throws his clothes on the bench instead of putting them straight away in the wardrobe, he would come and scold us like, Papa, no, this has to go in the wardrobe. And that is just so cute how strong the sense of order little children have. And we should definitely take advantage of that and not teach them that chaos is the normal way of doing things. The toys should be accessible and ideally visible, so instead of hiding away the toys in boxes, put them beautifully on the shelves that are low so that the child can see what he has and what he can play with and also can reach it without the parent's help. And try to choose aesthetically pleasing toys that are also made from natural material. This will develop the child's sense of style and beauty and will encourage them to interact with the toys 
more. And by that I don't mean that the toys have to be all pastel or just wooden and no, absolutely not. By all means they can be colorful as long as they A don't use any harmful coloring materials and B as long as the toys follow the rule one toy one skill rather than being like you know those 10 in one kind of toys because one toy one skill rule helps children to focus better thus helping them to improve their attention span and prepare them for solving more complex tasks later in the future by the way i have a gift guide for two-year-old toddlers on my channel where you can find a lot of montessori inspired ideas one of the big concerns that i've heard from parents is that a Montessori friendly home might leave kids unprepared for the real world. However, when you integrate Montessori principles into your daily routines, into your kids' daily routines, it prepares children to navigate the real world confidently and independently because they learn how to be self-reliant at home, they are more self-reliant outside the home as well, even if the environment is less kids friendly. So is Montessori worth it? For me, the answer is definitely yes. Adopting the Montessori method has been incredibly worthwhile for our family. And it also doesn't have to be expensive, which is another misconception that many people have. In my next video, I'm gonna show you how we implement Montessori at our home in an affordable way. So make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that you don't miss it. And before you go, I recommend that you check out my video about how I transform an IKEA play kitchen into a functional Montessori station. Also feel free to ask me any questions that you have about Montessori in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!